Bachman with this Newsmax Now update. The manhunt for a cop killer in Pennsylvania continues today. The state police says they are now looking into several new tips. We have had some reports of sightings, uh, and uh, we are following up on each of those. As you, uh, I'm sure, are well aware, there's a lot of activity down in the uh, 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 northern end of Monroe County. Well, authorities do believe that suspect Eric Fring is not a threat to civilians at this time. So far, police say they found a cache of his supplies, including an AK-47 and ammunition. Fring, a self-described survivalist, is on the FBI's 10 most wanted list and is believed to be hiding in the woods of northeastern Pennsylvania. Former NFL player Rob Brionis was killed in a car accident over the weekend. The former Tennessee Titans kicker died when he lost control of his 2009 GMC Denali and crashed into trees. Police say there's no evidence of drug or alcohol use, but they do say Brionis may have been speeding. He was taken to Vanderbilt Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The 36-year-old is married to Rachel Bradshaw, the daughter of Hall of Fame quarterback Terry Bradshaw. And a Kentucky firefighter injured by power lines last month during the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge has now died. The fire department in Kentucky says Tony Gerter was one of four firefighters who were injured after helping local college students participate in the challenge. The firefighters were shocked when their truck got too close to a power line while dumping water on the marching band. The other firefighters recovered and have since been released from the hospital. And a Russian beverage giant buys the American company best known for producing Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Oasis Beverage purchased the iconic Pabst Brewing Company for more than $700 million in 2010. An American investor is in Tucson purchased the brand. They made PBR cool again with young Americans and sales soared. In 2013, Americans drank more than 90 million gallons of the brew. And former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani joins the legal battle in the case of Manuel Noriega versus a video game called Call of Duty. The former Panamanian dictator is suing Activision over the use of his image in the video game called Black Ops 2. Noriega says his likeness was used without permission. Giuliani says he will defend the video game company because he doesn't want Noriega to profit from his crimes. The former U.S. attorney says Noriega going after Call of Duty is like Osama bin Laden's family going after the movie Zero Dark Thirty. And the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus debuted in stores only three days ago, yet Apple says their sales have already started to break some records. The tech giant says it sold more than 10 million of the new iPhones so far. Last year, Apple said it sold only 9 million of the, the brand new iPhone 5C and 5S models. The latest iPhones offer larger screens, faster performance, and a chip for making credit card payments. And SpaceX, a SpaceX rocket carrying about 5,000 pounds of cargo is on its way to the International Space Station. Just launched from the Cape Canaveral Sports Space Center. It is the fifth mission for the space company. I have another update coming up for you in 30 minutes. Now we'll send it back to Midpoint.